Hi, this is Pragati. Welcome to my channel. So recently, somebody asked me whether he should apply for a pre-doctoral program or a research assistant position. Ultimately, both the options are going to help him prepare for a PhD program. So he is confused which one to go for. I think that's a very valid question to ask and hence in this video, for everybody who is facing a similar confusion, I am going to discuss what a pre-doctoral program is as it's a very new thing in India and very few people know about it. What are the benefits of joining a pre-doctoral program before you join your PhD? And as it is very similar to a research assistant's position, what are the slight differences between the two in my opinion? Before I start the discussion, please note that there are various universities in India as well as outside India who are offering a pre-doctoral program and a research assistant position. But whatever I talk in this video is in the context of IIM Bangalore. Okay, so coming back to what a pre-doctoral program is, it's a one-year course that you join before your PhD to help you prepare for a PhD program. So if in case you plan to pursue a PhD in future, but you think that you're not sure about it, whether you actually want to do it, or if in case you think that you are not ready to directly jump into a PhD program and you need to work on your skills to survive a PhD program, then you should come and join a pre-doctoral program. You will have to pay zero tuition fees. You will get access to the library and all other facilities on campus. You will get some stipend every month, which is almost equivalent to the PhD stipend on campus. And you will have to assist the faculty in his or her research work. Now, this is very similar to the motivation for joining a research assistant position that you will be getting library access, you will be getting some salary every month and you will be assisting a faculty member in research. In both the cases, you will be exploring your research interests and you will be working on your research skills at zero cost and also earning simultaneously some basic amount for your survival every month. But the first difference between the two options is that pre-doc gives you the flexibility to be a student along with research experience. In a pre-doc program, you have to credit certain courses. Credit means that you are enrolled in that course, you will have to attend the lectures, write an exam and get a grade in the end. At IIM Bangalore, all pre-doctoral students have to credit two optional courses, be it a PhD course or MBA course, any course you like. And along with these two optional courses, they have to credit some compulsory pre-doc courses on communication, academic writing, mathematics, data analysis, and statistics. While for research assistants, there is no credit requirement. They can go and attend lectures with the permission of the concerned faculty, but they, they are not bound to write any exam and get a grade in the end. I personally don't think that the credit requirement for pre-doctoral students is a lot and it will consume a lot of your time. But yes, it's true that it will take away some time from your PhD entrance preparation and your CAT or GRE preparation. But uh, which option suits you more depends on your time management skills and your ability to gain knowledge through lectures or writing exams and assignments. The second difference between the two options is that although the salary for RA is same as the stipend for pre-doc, but in pre-doc, you also get some additional contingency grant, a startup fund to buy laptop and other educational articles, and in fact, some grant to attend conferences and write your GRE exam as well, to fund your GRE fees basically. The third difference between the two options is that RA requires you to come with some skills like coding. As an RA, you will definitely learn more, like enhance your coding skills, but they will expect you to come with some prior knowledge, depending on the research work you have been hired for. And from day one onwards, you will directly start working. In case of pre-doc, they hire students with unprivileged backgrounds who might not be having certain skills, but they are willing to learn. So they will first give them an opportunity to learn and then to apply whatever they have learned. The fourth difference between the two options is that pre-doc gives you a degree in the end while RA gives you a work experience certificate. 
So if in case you don't wish to apply for a PhD in future and work as a researcher somewhere, then I think that RA is more beneficial because mostly research positions put up a minimum work experience criteria of one or two years and then your RA work experience will count there. But if in case you want to apply for a PhD, then it doesn't matter because in case of PhD applications, only your research experience counts and your letter of recommendation counts that you will get in both these options. I can't think of any other difference between the two. Just one other doubt that I was asked about the pre-doctoral program is that does pre-doctoral program guarantee admission into a PhD program? Do pre-doctoral students get promoted to the PhD program of the same institute? The answer is no. Pre-doc doesn't guarantee you admission into the PhD program of the same institute. It's not even a requirement to apply for a PhD program anywhere. It's simply something you do if you are confused and you want to explore your interests. At last, my personal opinion on the pre-doctoral program. It's not a bad option if there are no RA positions available. So rather than wasting time in waiting for a RA opportunity, it's better to join a pre-doc program if in case admissions are going on at that point of time. Also, sometimes RA positions are offered only for six months. Then comparatively, pre-doctoral program will provide you more stability over one year period. See, these things are really subjective. Depends on at what time of the year you're looking for a position, for what time period you're looking for a position. Mostly people search for a position when their masters is about to end, which is somewhere in March, April and May. And uh, PhD and pre-doc admissions happen at the same time in March, April, May. Even if you didn't convert PhD anywhere and you're sure that you want to retry for PhD next year, then also pre-doc is not a bad idea because it will give you access to all the facilities that you need for your PhD preparation and it will also give you some basic income for your survival every month if you don't want to be dependent on somebody else. In case of any other queries, you can drop a comment below. I can request a pre-doc student to respond. Have a good day. Thank you.